What you guys gonna have a fix it video here for you on fixer graphics card only works in safe mode now we had a problem like this on discord yesterday managed to get it fixed and i want to show you how you can fix yours if you're suffering with the same problem so when you start to boot up your pc or laptop you'll just get a black screen and you'll get no display now what you're going to need to do is remove uh, that graphics driver because it's corrupted and you can use display driver uninstaller and you can download it from the link in the video description what this is going to do is allow you to completely uninstall uh, your geforce uh, gtx graphics driver from nvidia or nvidia graphics driver or you can remove amd drivers from here as well what you also want to do is download your latest driver from amd for your graphics card make sure you download the latest one and put it in the same folder as your display driver uninstaller and then we can uh, move on to the next step you're also if you're running an nvidia graphics card you may want to download that driver as well so whether you're running amd or nvidia make sure you download the latest driver now sometimes what happens is windows will install a driver of its choice and sometimes you'll get a black screen and it just doesn't uh, like that particular type of driver or there may be some sort of corruption with the driver that you've got installed every time you uninstall it and you reboot the system what will happen is you will generally uh, get a windows installing it straight away so go into safe mode here uh, whatever way you get into safe mode if the pc keeps closing down you're forcing to close it down you'll get to this option where you'll be able to go into troubleshoot here and what we're doing here is we're going to set it up to boot into uh, safe mode and that's what we want to do so go down to advanced options in troubleshoot and then what we want to do is go to uh, the startup settings here and what this will allow us to do is select safe mode now you don't want safe mobile networking because we don't want any sort of drivers downloading once we've uninstalled it or anything like that so what we want to do is go into just plain old safe mode seeing that we've already got the driver downloaded and we've already got the driver uninstaller uh, downloaded as well and got it on our desktop so select option four here to enable safe mode now remember this is a one-time deal so it will boot up straight back to the desktop but we're going to force it to make sure that it boots into safe mode all the time because what we don't want to do is uninstall the driver and then boot back to the desktop and windows will automatically start to install the latest driver for that graphics card and we don't want that to happen so what we want to do next is type in our password to get into our account if you don't have this you can skip past this part and then we should be at the desktop here of safe mode what we want to do here is go to the search box and type ms config and we're going to basically uh, go to the boot option and put safe boot here and leave it as minimal okay we don't want network in here because we don't want access to the internet we've already got our driver so we don't need to worry about that exit out without a restart and that's okay and what we need to do now is grab our drivers what we've already downloaded and also our uninstall at all you'll see the uh, guru 3d uh, driver so we're going to unpack this and put it into the same folder and there we are here so we're just going to need to uh, unpack this and go for the installation of this program what this is going to do is rip out all of the drivers that are left behind from that graphics so we don't want to leave anything behind because that can cause a corruption so we're going to right click here and we're going to run this as administrator and we're going to click run we can extract this uh, right here and there we go that's extracted that uh, program now so now we should see the display driver uninstaller I'm going to right click and run this administrator just to make sure there's no problems now because we've got no antivirus or anything like that running in the background it's going to stop that from conflicting and having any problems so you'll see it tells you that this is the first time that you've run this program and it will give you a bunch of information here which you can read at your own leisure i'm just going to click ok here it'll also open up some options which you can make changes to if you wish or you can just click close i'm not going to be changing any of this stuff but if you do want to mess around with that you can do i don't think you need to so i'm just going to click on uh, close here and we can uh, move on to the uninstall process so let's click close 
Now, if you do want to make a backup or some sort of restore point, you can do. It's entirely up to you. But once we've got this open, this is our program right here. Now, you'll see that it's not actually recognized anything. That's because we need to select GPU here. Once we select GPU, it will ask us whether we've got an NVIDIA, AMD or Intel graphics. So ours is NVIDIA. And now what we want to do is go up to the very top where it says clean and restart. This is the best possible way to actually remove it completely from the system. Now, remember, you don't want to go to the main desktop once you've uninstalled this, because if you do, Windows will start to install that driver. Now, you can temporarily uh, disable that if you wish, but personally, just make it force it to go back into safe mode and it won't install that driver because it won't have the Internet to download that latest driver. So it's going to start now to uninstall all of the display driver and make sure that everything has been removed so there'll be nothing left on the system once it removes all this and this is what we're after because we don't want any sort of confliction or any sort of problem that is why you're getting a black screen once that's done it will uh, go to restart and then once it restarts because we've set it up it will go straight back into uh, safe mode and that's what we want to do because we don't want to go back to the desktop yet so let that just restart and we'll get to the login screen where we can put in our details and then we can go ahead and install the graphics driver. That's so just taking a bit of time and just let this load in. There we go. And we should now start to get to the login screen. So put in your password. If you don't have a password on your login screen, then you can just skip past this bit and you should be already at the desktop. So let me quickly just type this in and then we can move on to the next step. OK, so now we're back at the uh, safe mode desktop. And what I'm going to do now is install the graphics driver. So let's go ahead and click on this. Now, whether you're using AMD or whether you're using Nvidia just or Intel, just click on one of those and uh, get this installed. So click OK. It will start to unpack this and it will start to install that driver so it does take a bit of time so just be patient and let it go through the process now of course once you've done this if you're still getting problems there could be other issues with your system it could be a monitor issue and it can also be a graphics card issue and it can also be your cable that you're using your hdmi cable or dp cable make sure you try all of those things if you're still having issues because this is just if you've got a black screen and of course the graphics driver is uh, not being installed because it's already got one installed there and it gives you a black screen and you can't see what you're doing so we'll just let this uh, install the latest driver and uh, that does take a bit of time so we'll just let this go and I'll, I'll skip through this part just to speed the whole process up so once that's installed your driver what you're going to want to do is go back into MS config and take out that uh, safe mode option because we don't want to stay in safe mode we want to go back to our normal desktop so go to take out the tick for safe boot go to general and normal startup and then click OK and uh, restart the system and this will now restart back to the desktop and hopefully with all that graphics driver removed and you've now got the proper one installed you should hopefully get full screen display uh, without having that black screen now you can disable the option for Windows to download and install drivers for your hardware. You can download and install your recommended drivers from the manufacturer's website if you wish. And that's what I do myself because I've had problems like this before, especially with the graphics drivers. It sometimes uh, messes it up and you can't get into the desktop. So that's the reason why I don't like using it. And also it's not using the latest driver either. And you're going to need to have the control panel and all that sort of good stuff installed anyway, rather than just having the main driver for NVIDIA or AMD. So you can see we've got full display now and we're all back up and running. So hopefully this resolves your problem. If you've got other problems and you're still having issues, then you may need to troubleshoot some more and make sure that it's not a graphics card issue or monitor issue or actually uh, the HDMI cable. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this helps you out. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all.
to be notified when we upload new videos.